Good evening. How's everybody today? I want to say good evening and I hope everybody's well. And I want to give a shout out to Joe who had a big operate five hour shoulder operation today. Big one. So I hope you recover quickly. And get your butt in gear. Come on, we gotta to go to that photo fair. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No laughing. Um what I want to do today? Well, I wanted to talk to you about something. You know, yesterday I said about uh, the tripod that I've been playing with. Well, I got it out and I was playing with it again. And I'll see if I can show you, okay? So here's a tripod in my camera with the lens on. Okay, this is the big lens. It's a Canon 100-400 zoom. I assume, image stabilizing, okay? Now, why would anybody buy a, camp, a lens like that? Not because it's, I got too much money, but because I was wandering around in uh, Yellowstone and Alaska taking pictures of wildlife. And when you see a grizzly bear, you don't want to get too close. So I've had this a few years now, and I can tell you it's totally excellent. So there's my camera. and the lens okay so what we're doing we're talking about the tripod I want to show you a video clip and in that clip if you look closely I'm videoing the elephants and you can see the camera going ink, 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 and you'll see it watch this Okay, so that's not good enough, right? So what was happening? Why was it doing that? I couldn't figure it out at first, but t last night I was playing with it again, and I figured it out. Watch this. So you can see this gap here, right? So if I turn this, it'll drop and sit on this. It's like a rubbery plastic or something. Feels rubbery, and it sits on there. So when you try to turn, it sits on there. So when you try to turn the neck, it makes it go, eh, 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 eh. So okay, what to do? Do I put, like a silicone oil in there or something well guess what there's another table that turns just here there that's better okay so you have to lock this one and release this one a little bit okay and then what happens is you can pan slowly without getting that jolting okay looks really cool but then if you see if you see how all this is set up this is great but then if you want to tilt it so panning left to right is perfect right but if you want to go up a little bit it's okay but then if you extend this out because this is 100 400 zoom right it has a lot of weight in it there's a lot of glass in this stuff and it still works fine left to right so so you can see how smooth it works so then I come out here this afternoon and was recording a bird I want to show you that and watch pay attention to how much it's how smooth it is but watch the bird it's beautiful
So what do you think? A lot better, eh? You don't get that eh, eh, eh. And it's just a nice, smooth pan. But there's only one problem now. Does this work? Yes. Will it be okay for the time being? Perfect. No problems. But I think in the end, I'm going to have to get a new tripod because they're... Um, they're weighted. They're rated by the weight that they can carry. Now, somebody, a couple, two people last night said, "What is it called? A video fluid pan head, so or something like that. Video fluid, so you can just that's the, the it's called fluid. <laughs> fluid. So, um, so I looked on Lassada, which they suggested." and I've seen a really nice head but that's only just the head not the tripod I think you're supposed to screw on to a monopod which is like one stick and you can then I don't really like them for me I like the tripod for if I guess if I was doing wildlife photography all the time the monopod would be great because then you could get around a lot easier you know if you're sitting on rocks the tripod's kind of hard because it's got three legs right so I think I wait. I put actually put this on the. I have a digital, um, digital kitchen scale, and I put it on there, and it's two and a half kilos with that lens on it. So I think it's on the borderline of uh, between the normal tripod and a more robust tripod. So I think in the end I'm going to have to purchase a new one that's a bit more robust. But right now I think I'm just going to leave it. You know. If you, if you say, if you're working between 180 degrees, say panning from zero to 180, it's fine. Um, if you, long as you hold it. But if you, on one of the videos, when the the neck, you know, the, when it's standing, you know, you put the legs out and then bring the neck up, so I can see better. I got, I'm holding the camera with my right hand and it's panning with my left hand, and my heart's pumping, and you can actually see the camera going boom, boom, with my heartbeat. So I tried to hold the tripod and leave the camera alone and I think it still did it a little bit so I'm right on the edge of too too heavy from for the tripod so um, but for now I'm gonna keep going and see what that how that works Okay guys, guess what time it is? It's getting late and the sunset's here. Wanna see? Okay, so I'm going to sign off guys and say good night. Look after yourselves. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. And I hope Joe heals quickly. And anybody else who's had an operation, I hope you all heal quickly. Good night. See you in the morning. All the best, guys. Mm -hmm.